Hello everyone, welcome to a collection of open entries. My name is Mila. It's another podcast episode, you guessed it, and as I promised, I'm being far more consistent with these episodes. I have so many ideas. I may even be filming more than one today, we will see, but I'm really enjoying podcasting right now. I love writing down my ideas, I love sharing my thoughts with everybody, and I love having conversations and being able to talk about this afterwards as well. So before I get into this episode, I do want to invite you, if you're watching the video version of this, please do leave a comment down below expanding on your thoughts of today's conversation or leave me a rating on Spotify or if you want you can DM my Instagram either at a collection of open entries or at Burek Mila because I love to hear your thoughts, I love to hear what you think and I love also getting your feedback because it's always very much appreciated and very helpful. But without further ado, let's get into today's podcast episode. Like I was saying before, I've really been enjoying podcasting again lately and I think one thing that's been on my mind lately is the thought of the quote, comparison is the thief of joy. In today's episode I want to talk about the fact that I feel like a lot of us feel like failures in achieving our dreams and being quote-unquote successful in what we are trying to do or what we want to do in the future. It's like we have these goals in our mind of where we want to be, where we want to get to, but we always feel like we're lagging behind. Please tell me if you feel like this because I've talked to my friends a lot and it's almost like we're racing and we're chasing something, but we're always too slow. We're always missing the mark. And I want to get into why that is. I think probably the main reason for that is the fact that on social media we're scrolling, scrolling, we're constantly seeing people doing things. When people post about things on social media they always post their highlights, their achievements, what they're doing well, even if it's in subtle ways, even if they're trying to potentially appear more vulnerable and be helpful to others, it always is that we're seeing people doing something. And so a lot of the time when we do find ourselves scrolling on social media, it's because we have a bit of free time, a bit of downtime, and we want to relax and chill. And so we'll go on our phone. And so when you're comparing you not doing anything in that moment to seeing someone else doing something incredible, it's no wonder that you're going to maybe feel a little bit down and be like, oh God, maybe I need to get myself moving, get up and going. However, one thing that I want to emphasize is when those people post that, they're probably sat down too. They're probably taking a little bit of a break. Also, a lot of the time, people's achievements or what they do might be their 15, 10% of their life. And a lot of what it took them to get there was not the glitz and glam of what they post on social media. Number two, when you're scrolling on social media, It's important to note that you're not only seeing one person. All these things that people are doing, that's multiple people. So it's almost as if in your head you're counting like one, two, three, four, five amazing things that you're seeing people doing, but you're not also registering that these are a bunch of different people. I think then what that also does is it makes us constantly think we need to be doing something else because our brain is constantly being fed ideas of the next best thing we're doing or the next best thing that we should be doing or could be doing. There's always something else that we could be using our time to do. So I feel like that's another thing because that not only makes us feel bad about ourselves because we feel like we're not being productive enough, we're not achieving enough, we're not being successful enough, but it's also stealing our enjoyment from what we're currently doing because I feel like it, even if you are in that moment, not on social media, if you are trying to enjoy what you're truly doing in that moment, I feel like just that constant reminder, that constant trigger is going to make your brain race and think while you are trying to do something okay, but once I finish this, there's something else I need to be doing, there's, you know, this next thing, or, like, this isn't enough, and blah, blah, like, I have felt like that so much, and you know what, sometimes all it takes is just 
giving yourself a bit of time, taking a step back and being like, okay, you know what? This is what I'm doing right now. This is me taking time for myself in this moment. There's nothing else I should be doing. There's nothing else I need to be doing. I'm just going to let myself enjoy now for what it is. And I think that's really important. I also want to make note of the fact that a lot of the time, when we see these big names on social media, I feel like a lot of the people that we used to see very frequently online are now being replaced by new people, new figures. And those other people that we used to see more frequently online are kind of becoming more private and not sharing as much. And I think there's a reason for this. A really good example, in my opinion, is Anna Archer. So Anna Archer started her social media career fairly young. I think she was 17 or 18, or maybe 19. I don't know. Around that age, around the age of 18. And she has shared a lot of her life and journey on social media. However, lately she has taken a break from her podcast, she's taken a break from posting YouTube videos, she's not as active online and she did come out with a podcast episode recently being like, you know what, I'm kind of just doing what feels right for me right now. I don't want to, you know, feel like I'm doing things just to do them. I want to do the things that I enjoy doing because I truly enjoy them and so I've had to take a step back, I've had to kind of rethink and reanalyze why I'm doing what I'm doing and I feel like now she's prioritizing more doing what makes herself happy, hence why she's moved to Australia, hence why she's made certain decisions with certain brands. Another great example is Emma Chamberlain who she felt like she was losing her passion for content creation and YouTube video making and so she took a step back from social media and from uploading videos to YouTube and now she kind of just uploads when and as she wants and she has full creative control over her content, she you know uploads in a very unique way, she edits in a very specific way, you know it's an Emma Chamberlain video by the way it's edited and you can tell that she's truly doing it for her enjoyment. She wants to convey a message through her content. And so I think that's another main purpose is the fact that by constantly thinking of our achievements and what we don't have and what we haven't reached yet, it's not only making us feel like failures, but it's also taking away our joy. And if you don't enjoy what you do, it's very unlikely that you're going to go far. Going back to that quote that I mentioned earlier of comparison is the thief of joy, I genuinely do believe that. Like, you're not in a competition with anyone. Your life is your own experience and there's nobody else that is seeing life through your eyes. You know, you're the sole lens bearer. You're the only person looking through those goggles. Nobody else can feel the flowers that you feel. Nobody else is touching the ground like you can. Like nobody else is hearing or smelling things the way that you are. It's fully your experience. You're in a competition with nobody. At the end of the day, when you look back on your life, it's it's only you. You're the only one there left to look back on it, you know? So there's no reason really comparing yourself with anybody, especially, and I emphasize this in so many episodes, but especially when what's trending or what's considered the norm or what the expectations are in society, all of that is constantly fleeting, constantly changing, constantly evolving. There's no reason to dictate and base your life choices, your life decisions on what is currently deemed acceptable by society. With that being said, although this podcast episode has been extremely short like very, very short. It's been a very short episode and I hope that that's okay and I hope that people can appreciate that sometimes some episodes will be 30, 40 minutes long, sometimes they'll be 20, sometimes they'll be 10 or less. I hope that this just serves as a little reminder that 
there is nothing that you are falling behind in. You don't need to chase anything. You don't need to, quote unquote, be successful in anything. You are already achieving by just doing what you're doing. You are achieving by enjoying what you're doing. Do you know how many people are doing something because they feel like they have to, but not because they want to and have lost sight of what they originally started doing? If you're enjoying what you're doing, you're already doing so well. And if you're watching this or listening to this and you realize, hey, actually, you know, I'm not really loving what I'm doing right now or I don't really feel the same attraction to what I'm doing currently as to how I started. Maybe it's a sign for you to reevaluate. Maybe you need to make some changes. Maybe you need to think about what is going on in your environment that could be causing you to feel like this. Maybe you're comparing yourself too much. Maybe you're scrolling too much. Whatever it may be, here's your reminder to be okay with where you are now. Life isn't a competition, life isn't a race. And at the end of the day, the most important thing is to just be happy and enjoy truly what you're doing. Because social media is not reality. And what you see on social media is very often a filtered, edited, highlight reel of what's really going on behind the scenes. So, once again, I hope you don't mind that today's episode has been a little bit shorter, but I am going to love you and leave you here. Please do let me know your thoughts on this topic in the comments down below if you're watching the YouTube version of this or leave me a rating on Spotify or send me a DM on Instagram, as I mentioned earlier. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you in my next episode. Okay, bye.